Hi and welcome again to Tech It Out. Today I was going to bring you an unboxing and review of this, the Hisense 4K Ultra HD TV. It's the new version that's just come out and it's at an extremely low price for a 4K TV. But I did hit a little bit of a problem. To actually use the television to its full potential as a PC monitor, unfortunately my graphics card doesn't output HDMI 2.2 which this particular TV needs to get the full 60 hertz refresh rate, which makes it usable for PC gaming and PC work, really. It also requires HDMI 2.0, as well as HDCP 2.2, which is the security part of things for 4K delivery, without which you wouldn't actually get a picture on the screen. What I thought today I would show you is my solution to this problem. It comes from a company who are selling on Amazon.co.uk. I'm not sure if they deliver worldwide or not. They may do. It's worth having a look just to check. The links will be in the description below. The company is called UpTab, and this is the actual adapter to solve my problem. It's a HDMI 2.2. Active adapter. Fully 4K 60Hz and HDCP 2.2. And on the other end of it, there you can see a display adapter, which is what I needed to actually fully output from my video card. Now, when I told them I was going to be making this video, they very kindly said, well, we've got a couple of other adapters as well that you can have a look at. And uh, if you want to make a video on them, you're welcome to do so. So they sent me a couple more adapters along. Now I did explain to them that all my views would still be untainted by this. I wouldn't give them any preferential treatment if I found anything untoward with them. And they are quite happy with that. And uh, here they are, the two different adapters. This is the first one. As you can see, they all look almost exactly the same. The only differences are in the connections. So there's this one. Again, it looks exactly the same, apart from the connection on the end there. And what I'll do now is I'll just get them out and you can have a closer look at the connections to see the differences. Just open these two up. The one I'm using for my PC to the 4K TV at the moment will be the display port to HDMI 2.2. This one is HDMI 2.2 and the input is USB 3.1 that's the reversible type, the mini one and then this one again HDMI 2.2 but this time to the mini display port adapter now in my last video we looked at the HDMI 2.2 to display port adapter in this one we'll be looking at the other two, the mini HDMI and this the USB 3.1 type C connector. These are found on various laptops such as the Chrome Pixel that we see here and also on the MacBook Air that is the the newer MacBook Air the 2015 version and some other MacBooks also. Especially in this one it is the only output and you need various adapters to do anything really with this one. So if you want to connect a 4K TV you'd need one of these adapters. The only drawback is it doesn't have any other sockets on it. It doesn't have another USB socket or indeed a USB type C socket on it. So what you will need to do is get hold of a pass-through cable. Now the best one that's available at the moment is actually a Kickstarter project by Infinite USB and I'll put a, a link to that down in the description so you can have a look at that. It's a, a very simple straightforward plug and plug type system whereby you can plug multiple leads in so you could actually charge it or use peripherals as well as plug in this in and using it on your 4k tv so as i said i'll put that down in the description that covers the macbook air and the pixel now when it comes to the mini display port you'll find this on the macbook pro and some of the other macbooks also they dual up as thunderbolt ports now, you'll see that the shape is exactly the same. 
So if you've got a Thunderbolt port with this shape, you know that you can use it as a output for your monitor as well as a, a display port output. You can just plug this adapter in and plug it in, as I said, to the 4K TV and away you go again. So here's where it's positioned on the MacBook Pro. As you can see, the shape is the same. And then on some Windows laptops as well, you'll find mini display ports and you'll find it something like this in the back. If you just look for that shape, you'll see the shape there is quite easy to spot. To finish off, you plug it into the back of your HD TV or Ultra HD TV. Make sure you plug it into the 60 hertz socket as shown here, not the 30 hertz, otherwise you won't get the full benefits. And of course, you'll need that high bandwidth HDMI lead must be at least 18 gigabits per second. As with the last video, this gives all the benefits of HDCP 2.2, which means you can actually stream content which is copy protected. And the final thing you do, as ever, is to set up in your PC and your settings to PC and game, so you get rid of any input lag. That is, unless you're using Netflix or streaming YouTube, of course, in which case you can use any of the other settings of whichever's best. Again, thank you for watching.